back, everyone, to another episode of LifeIsHardTV.com. I think that's what it's called, right? That's right. It's been, been a, while. a while. Yes. It has been a while. We're here at the Glenrose Spirit Shop, Monroe, Connecticut. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. And Dave, congrats on a new job nice, right here. Thanks. Good to see you. He was you. just in California, he was telling me. So, uh, Checking out some new wines. And uh, by the way, spring here in the Northeast is going to be one of the best years ever for Cabernet and some of the reds that were grown here in the Northeast, as, yeah. as you've seen. Over at the Jones Winery in our recent interview with Jamie Jones, so keep an eye out for that as well. Yeah, 2010, best year for Connecticut, maybe ever. Maybe Absolutely, ever. so good. So what do we have today? Today we're doing a pair of wines, a pair of Larry's favorites, and we're going to try to get Larry, Santa Larry, to make an appearance okay. for us. But uh, we're going to start with an Australian uh, Sauvignon Blanc, and uh, this is from Taltarni. They originally started planting in Victoria with the Bordeaux varieties, and now they plant in other different places in, the, in Australia, and they're doing the Shiraz and everything else. But this is their uh, this is their Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. And I want you to taste it. As with many Sauvignon Blancs, you're not going to get any oak at all. You won't see oak. You won't taste it. You won't smell it. But you'll get the fresh fruit. So Sauvignon Blanc, think uh, crisp, dry, maybe grassy, gooseberry. Yeah, uh, Sauvignon Blancs pretty much grown all over. Or are they specifically certain? They grow country probably best region. in cool regions, but almost every country these days is, uh, is growing. Yeah, very good. Definitely some nice fruit in that, but like dryness. Always like it the starts, dryness. Yeah. the beginning is very nice, you get the dry, but then the middle, you notice that it comes on almost like a grapefruity, orangey, tangerine kind of thing in the middle there. So wait, just before the finish comes get that extra burst so you get a nice start but the middle really builds up but that's what I kind of like. A little bit of uh, a little bit of tartness too. Oh yeah Sauvignon Blancs. I didn't swish that well enough. <laughs> Can't yeah. skip any steps here. Let's see if you can see it on film with the mouth going back and forth. Go like this Dave. Yeah. Now after I swallow I can get that Yes, that very good. citrus. So what I'm thinking of is uh, shrimp cocktails, shrimp dishes, anything with seafood and, and another citrus, lemon. So if you're doing shrimp cocktails and appetizer, maybe a little Sauvignon Blanc for dinner? Right. Now Sauvignon Blanc, they very do make good. it in Australia, but they're more well known for Chardonnays and for Rieslings also. But they're coming on, their uh, Sauvignon Blancs weren't that interesting for, yeah. for a while. But uh, growing it in cooler regions gives you that, that crisp acidity. When you grow it where it's too warm, it gets a little flabbier, it's, it's not as much fun. Right, so how do you pronounce this one? Taltarni. Taltarni, Sauvignon Blanc, 2008 from Australia. And the price on this one is $12.99. $12.99 here at the Glen Rose Spirit Shop. Come on down and grab this. See John. By the way, come in any Saturday from 3 to 6 o'clock. Live wine tasting. And you and, might catch uh, us here filming. You get on video as well. So come I'd on like down. I'd like to point out, too, that as with almost anything, Australia, New Zealand, so, you know, Southern Hemisphere, screw caps. And, Big you know, don't be afraid of them. Right. They're, they're just fine. Nothing wrong with them. Good point. Screw caps uh, does not mean lower quality. Yeah, so not inferior technology is improving all the time with the screw caps. So try them out. Right. Easy to use, too. Number two, Dave, is from California. We've got the Blanc, and then now we've got the Noir, the white and the black. So this Block is Pinot Nine. Noir from California, called Block Nine. Cadence Vineyards. And Block I find uh, this is an eleven ninety nine bottle, twelve dollar Pinot Noir. And usually for twelve bucks a Pinot Noir, it tastes like cough drops. This does not. You're gonna get that spicy berry. So why don't you look for some spicy, little fresh berry flavor? Now Pinot Noir. How would you explain the difference, John, between a Pinot Noir and say a Cabernet? So, well, first off, you're going to just, just by color, if you look at the color, it's going to be lighter. You're not going to get the heavy tannins. You're not going to get the black currant. You're going to get more strawberry, raspberry. Some people get cola. Some people get a little mushroom, a little herb. So the flavor profile is quite different. A little lighter in color, similar maybe more towards a Merlot versus a Zinfandel. It can be even lighter in color than that. It's, yeah, they're, uh, and if you see a really dark color of Pinot Noir, it's probably been blended with Syrah or something else like that. But I believe this may be 100% Pinot Noir, which is pretty unusual. Is that right? Yeah. Because in California, you can blend a certain percentage of other grapes, so it doesn't have to be 100%. And this may be. Very deep, earthy, 
not always my favorite Pinot Noirs of the Reds. I'm a Zinfandel fan, and then maybe a Cabernet second, like the Shiraz. This is uh, very earthy, very dry. Yeah, a little spicy. Yeah, I can taste some spice to it. Maybe some cinnamon, uh, nutmeg exactly. type yeah. of... Well, you know, that's coming from the barrel. You get that kind of toasty oak, and that's that cinnamon, almost clove-like... Uh... How about that? I guess cinnamon. <laughs> well, he's getting experience getting now. better, huh? Good teacher right here. Hey. Pinot Noir, it's great, world. versatile wine. You can have this with salmon, salmon chicken, right. veal, lighter meats. Like when you go fish or red meats or... Yeah. 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 And, uh, you can go with almost little, anything. little pork tenderloin from Chef Dave. <laughs> there you go. Once again, the Block 9 Pinot Noir, Cadence Vineyards from California, 2009. Not bad for 12 bucks. That's right. Great. So, any other great. any other words of wisdom? Uh, no, just I hope everybody has a great Christmas, New Year's, the holidays, the Hanukkah. Yep. All that stuff. Bit. Happy holidays, everyone. It is holiday season, so. That's for sure. And this place is hopping here at Glen Rose, so All come right. on down. So great, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, coming down. Thanks, Dave. Great time. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Life is hard TV again, and uh, happy holidays. You got it. We'll see you soon. Thank you.